Hi there. Welcome to Mathematics Alive. Our lesson for today is number patterns. Let's start with arithmetic sequence. If a sequence of values follows a pattern of adding a fixed amount from one term to the next, it is referred to as an arithmetic sequence. The fixed amount is called the common difference D. To find the common difference, subtract the first term from the second term. So, we have the second term 8, we subtract 2, so 8 minus 2 is equal to 6. Or 14 minus 8 is equal to 6. The common difference is 6. In the second example, we have the second term 45, subtract 50, so you get negative 5. 40 minus 45, you have negative 5. So the common difference is negative 5. Let a sub 1 be the first term, and the second term is a sub 1 plus d. The third term is a sub 1 plus 2d, and so on. And the last term is a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Example, a sub 1 is equal to 1, and the common difference is 2. So we see in this illustration, we start with one ball, and then we add two balls. So the next level, we have three, and the next level, we have five, and so on, up to 15. The common difference is two. Example number two. A sub one is equal to two. The common difference is three. If we look at the illustration, we start with two coins and then we get a common difference by adding three coins every time. So in every level, you add three more coins. So the sequence is two, five, eight, 11, 14, and so on. The nth term of an arithmetic sequence. In looking for the nth term in an arithmetic sequence, we consider the following formula. The nth term a sub n of an arithmetic sequence with first term a sub 1 and common difference d is given by a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d, where n is a positive integer. Example 3. Find the 11th term of the sequence 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, and so on. So we identify the first term is 2, the common difference is 3, and n is equal to 11. And then we just plug in the values of our given to the formula. So the answer is 32. Example 4. Find the 20th term of the arithmetic sequence 31, 24, 17. So look at the first term. The first term is 31. And um, the values is um, decreasing. The values are decreasing. So we expect that the common difference is negative. So we subtract 24 minus 31 is equal to negative 7. And the 20th term is 31 plus the quantity 20 minus 1 times negative 7 equals negative 102. Geometric sequence. If a sequence of values follows a pattern of multiplying a fixed amount from one term to the next, it is referred to as a geometric sequence. The fixed amount is called the common ratio R. We can name the terms 
of a geometric sequence using a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, and so on. A geometric sequence looks like this example. So, in this example, uh, the first level is 1, and then each level it is duplicated. So, the next level is 2, the next level is 4, and then uh, 4 is being duplicated or multiplied by 2, so the next level is 8, and so on. The common ratio R is found by dividing any term by its previous term. Example 1. Find the next two terms of the geometric sequence 3, 12, 48. We first find the common ratio R by dividing 12 by 3 is equal to 4, or 48 divided by 12 is equal to 4 also. Hence, we multiply 4 to the last number of the sequence and multiply it again to get the next, and we will complete the next two terms, 192 and 768. The nth term of a geometric sequence have the following formula. We have uh, a sub n is equal to a sub n minus 1 times r. a sub n minus 1 is um, the last term in a given sequence. So to get the next term, we will just multiply it by the common ratio. Or you can use this formula if you are given the first term and the common ratio, a sub 1 and r. Example 2. Find the sixth term of the geometric sequence, negative 21, 63, negative 189. Solution, we first find the common ratio, and the common ratio is uh, found by dividing 63 by negative 21, and we get 3. Then, find uh, a sub 6 using the formula. Since we know the first term and we know the common ratio, we will be using the second formula. And the answer is 5,103. Example 3. Find the fourth, fifth, and sixth term of this geometric sequence. As illustrated below, we have the first level, or the first term is 1, the next term is 3, and the next term is 9, and so on. So, a sub 4 will be 9 times 3, or 27. a sub 5 is 27 times 3, or 81. And a sub 6 is 81 times 3 or 243. Fibonacci sequence. The Fibonacci sequence is a set of numbers developed by Leonardo Fibonacci as a means of solving practical problems. The sequence is formed by starting with 1, 1, and adding the two preceding numbers to get the next number. So we have 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 5 is 8, and 5 plus 8 is 13, and so on. Fibonacci numbers are nature's numbering system. They appear in leaf arrangements, petals of flowers, bracts of pine cones, scales of pineapples, and patterns of seashells. Now let's look at these beautiful flowers. We have one petal, two petals, three petals, five petal flower, and we have here eight petals, and they follow the Fibonacci sequence. We have here 
13 petals and 21 petals. The golden ratio. The ratio of two successive Fibonacci numbers approach the number phi called the golden ratio. Examples, we have 8 plus 13 over 13, 13 plus 21 over 21, 21 plus 34 over 34, and they approach phi, which is 1.618 and so on. The golden rectangle and the golden spiral. If you look at the figure on the right, we have each square in the rectangle on the right is made using a Fibonacci number as the measure of their sides. We'll start with a one by one uh, square. This, these two small squares are one by one unit. So the area of the squares is one unit. And then the next larger square or the next square is two by two. The next square is three by three, followed by five by five square, eight by eight, and so on. And the spiral is drawn inside the squares, each being a quarter of a circle, and it forms the golden spiral. The Greek Parthenon was built with a facade which has the proportions of a golden spiral. Golden spirals are also found in nature. We have golden spirals in shells, plants, flowers, and even in your thumb mark. Golden spirals are seen in the shape of shells of snails, seashells, and other spiral forms in nature. We see from this video that even nature follows certain number patterns, and these patterns bring about beauty around us. In my next videos, we will have logic patterns and geometric patterns. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel by clicking the button below. Thanks for watching and bye bye.